an explanation of how to plant a fruit tree. I'm demonstrating a rootstock and that rootstock is lots more roots compared to the top growth where the fruit is going to be. The roots are spread out in a circle facing slightly downwards and we're going to try and replace that pattern when we put it in the soil. And I've recreated a turf patch here which we'd actually be scraping off to clear if we were planting in a field. Uh, actually the soil that we're using here has been well prepared already and that means we've got lots of organic matter especially in an outer circle and that's where I'm going to spread some concentrated fertilizers seaweed, blood fish and bone meal, hoof and horn and also a little bit of feathers and that's going to produce long-term slow release fertilizer that could also be rotted carpet or wool shoddy and that's going in in a circle further away from where the roots are going to be planted and it's mixed in to the soil that's already been improved. The stake is the point where the plants can be put finally. That circle is where they're going to root, grow roots to in the first five years of growth. So now I'm digging out a hole where I want to actually plant the roots and I need to ensure that that's wide enough and deep enough to accommodate the root system. That's getting a little bit of short-term slow-release fertilizer, seaweed, and that will feed the roots in the first year of growth. I'm thinking about planting and digging in a circle, so rather than plant, put all the soil in one heap, that's going in a circle, and that is well-improved soil with the quick-release fertilizer in, in the bottom of that hole, we leave a mound shape and that's so that the roots can follow that shape down and now we're placing the tree with the graft point facing towards the sun and working out where we can insert the stake in order to not disturb the roots and meet the trunk and in this case it's going to just be joined in to the rootstock hammering till the stake is deep enough so it's gripping in the subsoil and that's a round stake so it doesn't rub too much against the wood and the bark and taking a rotable perishable butyl ru rubber actually a bit of an inner tube and making that folds in between the stake and the trunk both ways so that makes a figure of eight knot and that means that's going to buffer and stop rubbing between the trunk and the stake. Adjusting that so that as a one-man job that is now holding the tree in roughly the right position so I don't need extra backup to uh, hold the tree up. Now I can concentrate on the most important part of the job which is rearranging the root system in a radial pattern going outwards and also there are roots at the bottom of the rootstock which I'm burying first. I'm spreading each little rootlet out outwards from the point, center point and in some cases spreading the side roots out and nestling soil in between every layer. This is trying to recreate the same three-dimensional planting pattern that the tree was in when it was dug up from the nursery in the autumn. I'm going quite fast because I've done it before. Settling each layer, now I'm going around the back doing the same from the bottom up, spreading out radially, slightly downwards, covering with soil, making sure the soil is packed in right up to the centre and I'd spend up to 10 minutes making sure that this is really well done. This is what's going to give the tree a good start in life and is the absolute crucial part of planting any fruit, any perennial. Now I've covered the root system, one or two fine hair roots at the top near the surface but we'll still bury them, and mounding soil and the mixture of improved soil up around the trunk in a little mound, consolidating that, and the final stage treading the roots down, not too close, 
treading hard with your heels and walking around the tree in a circle and the soil will buffer so you're not actually compacting directly where the roots are you're pushing down about a foot outside in a circle around where the tree is that will settle the roots solidly and mean that they've got a good bond with the new soil and they won't even know that they've been transplanted now we top up with a little bit of extra soil in a circle so we've still got a moat and a mound and later on we'll water the tree in and fill the moat up with water and that will keep the roots moist.